Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. So I decided to come to the Carrigo Graveyard off screen, and there's also a Pole Solidus Graveyard in case you're trying to collect all 60 of them, or maybe you're just more satisfied with the higher Poe counts. I don't know, but, but we're coming back to the graveyard for a lot of good reasons. Did I turn the volume up to 21? Yeah, yeah, I did. We meet again, but there are a few skills left for him to teach us. Which is a good thing. If you fail to execute the hidden skill he's about to teach us, our life might be in danger. Do you still wish to master it? Well, of course! Our life's in danger when we're trying to save the world in the first place! Yeah, so... We unsheath our sword just as she did, just so we can use the mortal draw. Like, that makes a lot of sense, but okay, whatever. Yeah, we're certainly capable of performing this lost art. Yes, now we can learn the six hidden skill. The Jump Strike. Uh, not one of my favorite ones, but I like it nonetheless. I think it's a pretty cool hidden skill myself. Just wait till you guys see it. It's a bit different than the the Tiger Blade skill in uh, Minish Cap. How you use the rocks cave, then you stab the ground. This one you charge up, swing, and then slam the ground. Which will create a shockwave on the ground, and you can attack multiple enemies at the same time. So, it's pretty cool. And you also have to charge it. Oh no, there's multiple enemies. Don't worry, he won't attack us. Just hold A, hit them both, and then charge. And you hit all, hit all three of them. Sorry, I had a burp there. Yeah, that's why my word stuttered. The, the six-handed skill has been passed on. A lot different from the one in Wind Waker, but I still like it. I like the one in Wind Waker, too. It kind of makes me wish it was in Oracle Seasons, but... No, no, you don't need it. I mean, Oracle Seasons is easy enough as it is. I mean, really? Believe in your strength and continue to push forward. Well, yeah, I sure will. May we meet again, Ancestor. And now there's actually a puzzle that I do want to get this one, just to be on the safe side. And if you haven't got the golden bugs here yet, you might want to consider getting them. Unless you don't care, then. Well, no big deal. Oh, how'd I miss? How are you missing it? It's like right there. There we go. Might as well get it. I mean, we're gonna get 20 posts throughout the game already, but well, it doesn't help to grab one or two. I'm gonna meet you guys back in the the kitchen in the Snow Peak Mansion, so I'll see you guys there off screen. Okay, I made it back here off screen. It took like four or five minutes or so. Oh, then again, I was getting a drink of V8. And V8 is so tasty and so good. How could you not like a V8, viewers? I mean, how could you not? Oh, this puzzle. Yeah, this puzzle seems like it could be annoying, but honestly, it's not. Oh, not yet. See how there's ice over a switch and another block? Yeah, that's when it becomes a little more annoying. But again, it's even not that bad. I mean, compared to us getting a certain heart piece, it can get pretty bad. Speaking of heart pieces, I got two. Okay, I'm just thinking a little bit. I forget what number I'm at sometimes. Okay, so I'm at 27. That makes sense. So the next heart piece is 28. I always forget. I guess you could say it's a bad habit of mine. Now, if you're already using the action replay for some whatever reason, uh, make sure you don't do all the boss keys for all the dungeons for the GameCube. I mean, it only works for the GameCube. It doesn't work for the Wii, whether you're playing the GameCube version of it or not. So, in, in that case, you won't be able to go through this door, and you'll pretty much be screwed over. So, watch out for that, for those guys who likes to hack the game. How do I know this? I made the same mistake when I was playing Twilight Princess and decided to cheat my way through with all the keys and stuff. Yeah. I decided to do it for one game. I mean, it was fun hacking it a little bit, but, well, I'm done hacking it. It's not as fun as I thought it would be. I mean, there's some crazy stuff on YouTube where people are, like, jumping from the top of Lake Helia from way high in the sky and how they fall to his jet. Or in the water. Kind of creepy. <laughs> really? Nah, I guess turning into our elf form is not so smart here. Yeah, and we can also get a treasure chest, which contains 20 rupees! Don't spend it all in one place! Oh, actually you can. Not that big of a deal. 
There's also another treasure chest. I, I was gonna say, do I have to open it from the other side? And we get a small key. Now we're actually gonna need that, so that'll be pretty good. So let's go across the window. I think the door's locked. No. No, we can also go through the door. Well, it's not a big deal. If only we just ow had an item to break the ice. Yeah, I hate this. Those guys can be really annoying. They freeze you, they bounce around, and it just never stops. Apparently the Yetis never really explore this place much, because the doors are locked! Uh, these guys. If you can get the spin attack on them, that, that's great too, but you still want to watch out for when they're bouncing and stuff, sliding around on the ice. I mean, I love ice serves as much as the next guy, but... There are a couple of links of the past that really annoy me for some reason. I mean, they just do. I mean, in, well, Ganon's Tower, I just got really annoyed with the ones I linked to the past. I mean, how do they expect you pass that stuff without getting hurt? Me, just use the Bombos Medallion. It saves you a lot of trouble. Or the Ether Medallion. That works, too. Well, I guess it's in there. Not a big deal. Oh, of course the door would be locked. Now, if you have the jump strike, this is actually a pretty good time to use it. But you have to be quick, because, look, I just got stabbed. Me, I prefer not to use it. I'd rather use the helm splitter, because, I don't know, it, it's, it's a lot easier than the jump strike. I mean, you can, I keep getting stabbed every time I try to defeat those ice guys with my jump strike. So, if you use the helm splitter, you're pretty good. I mean, it works just the same. To me, it works even better. Alright, here's the key to the mirror chamber. Uh, what? It's it's a pumpkin! How did a pumpkin from Ordon get all the way up here in the mountains? Yeah, she did get the wrong location. Well, she is sick, so her memory's probably been foggy. Huh. That looks like the... Ah, uh, that looks like the mirror chamber. Okay. Is that... Is that a... I don't know. It looks like Prince Rallis a little bit, but it's so dark it's hard to make out. Oh, there's more paintings. I have no idea what that is. It kind of looks like a waterway or something like that. I don't know, I think the Zoras used to own this place at some point in time. I don't know. Can we sit in the chair? No, Link stands on it. Sitting's not permitted. In Skyward Sword, you can sit in chairs, and that's pretty cool. Do I care for it? No, I don't, but it's a little nifty trick you can do. No, oh, that's right, I can't push that block. These blocks are stationary. You can't push these ones. Yeah, you wish, huh? There's also a block over there we can't get to just yet to push, so... We're gonna have to go back here later. Yeah, we'll be back in this room later. You wish we weren't, but we have to. Apparently we got a pumpkin. I don't know, maybe you could put the pumpkin in the soup. I mean, he doesn't seem like a chef, but he, he, he could use it. Hey, I got a pumpkin. Uh, would he be interested? Yeah, I do. Here, let me get out of my- Hey! I didn't get out of my pouch to give it to you yet! Jeez, so forceful. I mean, he just put the whole fish in there! Wow! Yeah, yeah, he doesn't really cut things up or cook it. I mean, but look at that butcher knife! You think he would, huh? How did he even make butcher knives that big? I know they don't in real life. I mean, what, you're gonna have five guys carry it or something? Wow, did my bass really go off when I was recording? That's a first! So, the good soup, it heals four hearts, just like you think it does. So, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna take some to go. Just to uh, be on the safe side for a certain enemy coming up later in this place. So, you're gonna want it. Oh, I'm doing pretty good on time. I love video editing. Oh, no, Skyward Sword's gonna be a pain in the butt. Hey, lady, um, you know what? It, there's a pumpkin. You don't remember where you put pumpkins, do you? Why don't you just keep it in the kitchen? Well, don't question Nintendo logic. Next to that symbol, huh? Great. Great. You guys are making me go all the way up there, huh? Well, at least this door's gonna be open now, so... That's awfully convenient. Did I already look at this picture? Yeah, looks like Hyrule Castle. Okay. I don't know. You can make out some of the pictures, but even like in the 3DS re remake of the Forest Temple, it's just hard. Oh, I hate these wolves. Yeah, you want some of this? Stinking wolves. Hey, no. Leave me alone, Wolfie. 
Ah, goodness gracious. Hey, no. I don't think so. Why are you guys so vicious? You guys hungry or something? Yes, they are hungry humans. Apparently. Let's see, there's something around here I want. Go away. Die. At least I think there's something around here. No, nothing. Okay, well, not on this side of it, apparently, because the door is apparently just unlocked, so that's a good thing. Yeah, we need to go through this door first. I mean, you don't have to. I think this is the room with the compass. No, no, we do need to go through this room. Okay, well, not too shabby if I say so myself. Hey, how's it going? You all shall freeze to death. Uh, yeah, I hate you. But if you didn't hate them already, learn to hate them now. What are these guys called anyways? No, no, leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. No, leave me alone. You shall not kiss me. I, I mean, ow. Gosh. These guys are mean. Ugh. Goodness, get away from me. Hey, no man, stay away from me. No, no, stay away. Okay, good. Ugh, talk about a close call. So let's actually get our bombs. Not those bombs. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put this bomb in the cannon. Here, here we go, bug, into the cannon. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's make it go that way. Um, I haven't watched any, a couple episodes of it. Infested, or, it's not infected, it's infested on Animal Planet, where they're, like, getting rid of rodents and stuff like that in houses, and, there's this one episode with ticks, and, well, it was pretty interesting. It makes me glad there's not ticks in my house. Oh, man. That, that'd be pretty bad. Alright, yeah, there's only bombs over there. In case you only had one for some reason. I, I don't know. Now, we can only turn the cannon in a certain direction, so we're going to turn it this way. Yeah, these cannons aren't as useful as the one in Empire Earth. Like, you can move those and stuff, but... Well, it gets the job done. It breaks the ice for us. There we go. Yeah, there's no other way we can go, so... We just use the cannonball to break the ice. If only there was an item to make breaking ice so much easier! Well, if only, huh, viewers? If only, if only. Hey, how's it going? Goodbye. Now what I like doing, ugh, go away. See those ice guys? Just shoot them with your, uh, your bow and arrow and they'll be gone just fine. Huh. Well, that's another picture of Hyrule Castle. I can't make out the other two from here. So, we're gonna have to get a little closer to make out those pictures. I don't know, it's pretty important to make out the pictures, because it seems like they're actually getting us somewhere. Oh goodness. No! Ice Geese, stay away from me! You annoy me as much as you do in the ice cavern in Ocarina of Time. And they really did annoy me there. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna get 20 more rupees. Oh, I was gonna say, if it's 10, well, I really got that screwed up. Wow. Well, this room isn't so safe. Yeah, that's Hyrule Castle. Maybe that's Hyrule Castle from a different point of view, like a gate or something. And I still can't tell that other picture. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Alrighty, and inside this chest, we get the infamous compass! Thanks, game. I want a compass. I mean, you don't have to get the compass, but it's there. Let's see. Nah, we could just jump off the cliff to make our life easier, but... That's only the first time I realized there's something we could actually hook on to. Let's see, can we make out the picture from here? Maybe? No, of course not. Well, I do have an item for this. I really want to see what this picture is. Nothing? I, I can't make it out! What's it supposed to be? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, that looks like a cannon. Like a tower. In the snow, I guess. I don't know. Maybe Nintendo's just screwing with us by putting random pictures here. Nothing on the other wall, just windows. Okay. Well, let's get out of this room because there's nothing left to really get in this room for starters. No! Ah! Oh, I really hate you guys, you know that? You're, you're just. No, Link! Ah! Oh, get away from me! 
I don't want your money. Not this time. Yes, not this time. <laughs> oh boy. So let's see. Now let's actually go through this room. I mean, you don't have to get the compass, but it's pretty, pretty good idea if you do. Oh, I don't have the key yet. Apparently there's a chest here. Ah, there it is. Ow. No. Yep, yeah, here's the chest. It's just buried deeper than the other one that we saw earlier, so. Let's go ahead and get it. And we get a small key for our efforts. That's really good. Ah, great. They're coming. They're coming for us. Yeah, you can't open these doors in wolf form like you could uh, in the Arbiter's Grounds. How you just left it up the sliding door. You actually need hands to open up that one. Oh uh, yeah, and you can't climb up this ladder because there's an ice monster at the top, so don't try it. Here, I'll show you what happens if you climb up this ladder. La -da 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 -da. Oh my goodness! He's shooting ice at us! And he won't stop. Trust me. So, what is in the room the lady's talking about? Find out next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. Have a good day. Huh, I wonder what this is used for.